Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Excel Nerds. Today we're talking about the different types of errors that you can find in Excel. We're not going to be talking about every error you can find, but we're certainly going to talk about the most common. The first error we'll talk about is the dividing by zero error. If we look at our data set here, we're calculating revenue per item. And that formula is the revenue divided by the number of sales for this day. Since we auto filled that formula down, a few of our items are going to have errors because they did not sell anything that day. So to fix this error, we can actually wrap our original formula inside the if error function. So come in here and type if error. So if error takes two arguments. The first is the original formula you were going to input, which in our case is revenue divided by number of sales and then you want to input the value if there is an error. In our case, we know that if there's an error, it's likely because the number of sales and revenue were zero. So we're going to get that divide by zero error. So we can just type comma and then zero. And if there's an error, this will return a zero. The next error I'll talk about is the name error. This occurs when you spell the name of the function incorrectly. If we look at this example here, you'll see that I tried to use the sum function to sum up C4 plus B4, but I spelled it incorrectly. If I come into my function here and type a U to correct that spelling, we no longer have the error. So anytime you see this name error, just go back and double check that you spelled the name of the function correctly. The next error we'll talk about isn't really an error per se. When you see these pound signs, it just means that Excel doesn't have enough room in that column to fit all the numbers that it needs to. So to fix that, we go over to this line right in between columns C and D and double click. And that fixes it. Now we can actually see the numbers. The next error we'll talk about is a value error. This error will show up when you're using a different value for a function than Excel expects you to. Let's say you wanted to subtract the difference between the total profit in these two down here, these two items, this minus this, you would see the, the difference in profit between those two is $400. But let's say you accidentally, because you, maybe you were working too fast, and you accidentally typed 105.6 minus the text total profit, you would get this value error. The other way this might show up is if you have a space in your cell instead of a zero. And I'll explain what I mean. Let's say you sold zero copies of part number 1001. No big deal. It just updates everything and you have no sales. But let's undo that really quickly. And instead, let me come in here and delete this. Press space. And because I added a space in there, Excel thinks that there's text, the equivalent of text. So when all the formulas calculate like total sales, cost of goods, total profit, it doesn't know what to do with that space that I entered in there because it's not actually zero anymore. It's the character, the space character, which is not a number. So let's say you were going through a big worksheet and this popped up and it wasn't immediately apparent why this is um, you know, giving you an error and you, you think it should be zero and you don't know about this error and why it happens yet, you can use a comparison operator to check to make sure that a value is truly equal to zero. So over here I can type equals this equals zero. So if I type equals F3 equals zero, that's basically Excel checking to make sure that F3 is equal to zero and it's gonna give me a true or false depending on whether or not that is true or false. So that's false, but if I drag this down, I get true for the other one. So imagine if you had, say, a hundred lines or a thousand lines of data, you could very easily see which ones are zero that you think should be zero and which ones aren't. And in our case, we know that that's not zero. So we can come in here, double click, and we can see this little space in there. So we delete that, type zero, and it fixes the issue. The next error we'll talk about is the reference error. And in my, from my experience, this happens when you're deleting columns and uh, aggregating everything together, but you accidentally delete columns that a function is referencing that you should not have deleted. So let's say we were looking at this 2016 sales roll-up 
right here and I double click that's actually pulling in the sum of these numbers together which is totally fine and we have the cost of goods we have the profit but let's say that we you know we did all this work and we got to this point and we just started like uh, you know deleting things like that in order to you know kind of get rid of what we don't need all of a sudden we have a reference error that pops up there and that's because Excel is trying to reference cells that no longer exist let me undo that for one sec if I need to cut this table right here and paste it to a new spot you're going to be okay because Excel updates the reference when it moves but if you start deleting columns Excel will not know which cells to reference this will probably happen more likely on a tab that is a roll-up tab or a dashboard tab that is referencing data from a tab that's kind of hidden away so let me create a new tab here come back to this copy this here so here I have just the final data that I want to perhaps show somebody but let's say I'm going through my workbook maybe later in the day the next day and I'm coming back through everything trying to delete things that I really don't need anymore and accidentally just delete these columns because I don't need them anymore it might not become apparent what you've done but you've just deleted the columns that this table was referencing so you'll get that reference error if I undo that if you're in this situation the better thing to do would be to copy this with control C and then paste values by right clicking and clicking paste values now these cells are not referencing the data from the other tab the last error we'll talk about in this video is the NA error this happens when Excel basically can't find what you're telling it to look for um, one of the most common times this will come up is during a VLOOKUP function or an index match. If I look at this function I've built here, it's looking for this name Alex within this table, and then it's returning the phone number. So press enter. But look what happens when I type a name that is not in our lookup function. We get that NA error because John is not in there. So that's Excel's way of telling us, hey, I can't find what you're looking for. If using VLOOKUP or index match, you might be doing this across hundreds or even thousands of rows. So it might be useful to be able to return a value to us that is meaningful instead of just an error. So if the name John is not found and we're doing this across hundreds of rows, we can wrap the VLOOKUP function in the if error function. You'll notice if error takes two arguments first is the value which is our VLOOKUP function but if that doesn't work and returns an error we have to tell it what to give us back so we're going to type name not found and that's a text string that will will be returned if there is an error